All right. So I'm going to go. All right. That's fantastic. Cool, 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 cool. You guys are saying why. Let's start already, sir. Relax, relax. We're going to start. Relax. Okay, I think we should be streaming live on YouTube at the moment. Just want to confirm that. Give me exactly 15 seconds. Just 15, give me a sec. I need to ensure that this is streaming live. I mean, guys, don't be selfish now. I mean, if you're going to get free information, let people on YouTube also get free information as well. The information is free for everybody. I'm not here to hide anything. I just want to make sure. Um, Sarah, could you kindly confirm that we're streaming live on YouTube as well? Just need to make sure that we're currently streaming. All right, cool. So we have we have live stream on YouTube as well. I think I just saw that. Settings. Mute this. Yes, we are live on YouTube. Thank you guys for checking. Have to make sure that everybody's seeing this stuff from everywhere. Um, let me see if I could quickly do something that I'm not supposed to be doing. So am I clear? I hope I'm not freezing. Hope I'm very clear. Like I'm not doing like, hope it's not pixelated like this. Like, cause here it looks very, like I'm moving very, moving very clearly. I just want to make sure that I'm not pixelated from your end. So if my video is clear, just say video clear. If my video is clear, just say video is clear. All these things are very important to me because I want you guys, it's clear, it's clear, everybody like it's clear. All right, cool. Time for me to get straight to the point. All right, I've, I've had, it's okay, it's okay, I can see. I can see all the video is clear. It's okay, you don't need to type anymore, it's fine. All right, guys, so I wanted to quickly say a big welcome to every single one of you who is live here today. Thank you, thank you so much for coming on this training. You guys probably saw the invitation on my social media, my Facebook or Instagram. So I'm pretty certain that you guys are kind of familiar with who I am. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Dapo Willis. I've been trading the Forex market for about uh, nine years now, nine whole years. So trust me when I say I've seen it all in this industry, from indicators that is sold to me, to indicators that repaying, to signal services that work some weeks and don't work some weeks, um, to blowing my account. I've done everything, to taking money from investors, and blowing the money and like just blowing the money to putting a lot of losing a lot of money to brokers. Like I've been through everything. I've been through high blood pressure. I've been through depression all because of Forex. So nine years worth of trading is no joke. And after it, after it was all said and done, right, I was able to develop um, my own strategy. I was able to understand the market for what it actually is, right? After I've been through all that bullshit, and the truth is, the reason why a lot of people don't succeed in the market is because they don't, they're not patient enough to persevere, right? They're not patient enough to push forward. They just, they think Forex is an overnight thing, right? As Forex is definitely not an overnight thing, especially when um, you don't have the right education. When I started off this industry, I was about 17 years old. Um, I just left high school at the time. Mr. Almena is here, one of my high school teachers. Um, so I had just graduated from high school when I just decided to venture into Forex at the time. And you can imagine I didn't have enough money to pay for quality education. All the information I was seeing on social media, then there wasn't even Instagram. There wasn't even Instagram. Like there was no Instagram. Trust me. If there was Instagram, maybe there were like maybe 500,000 users worldwide on Instagram. Instagram wasn't this big nine years ago. So there wasn't any Instagram. There wasn't that much content on YouTube. Um, all the very good traders were charging at least $10,000 for their courses. I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to get $10,000 from, right? So um, it was very, very expensive. I didn't have access to all of that. So I had to learn the hard way. Like I had to like learn how to do this shit like manually. Like what I mean manually, do you know what? Um, please, I'm not hearing your voice. It was very clear, but for two minutes, nothing is going on. Um, guys, can you confirm that you guys can hear me? I don't know why this is happening. 
somebody saying they can't hear me. If you can hear me, just go ahead and type Y. I can hear you. I don't know. Everybody can hear me. So, guys, I believe my internet is fine. If you can't hear me, it's your fault. Everybody can hear me. All right, that's fantastic. So, you know, it was it was absolutely horrible. Trust me, guys. Um, let me remove this chat box because it's kind of gonna gonna kind of distract me. So, like, you know, I, there was there wasn't really anybody to teach me. All the good courses were ten thousand dollars and above. Guys, I remember times I used to cry because of this market because. I mean, you're making money, you're losing money, you're making money. It's an emotional roller coaster. And I said to myself, I made a, I made a, I made a promise to myself. I said, once I'm able to understand this market the way it should be traded, I was going to give back as much information as I can. I've been doing a lot of free information, giving out a lot of free information. Yes, we do have some paid um, courses, but it's absolutely cheap. It's like $99. I, I can see some people here who have actually paid for the course for 99 bucks. Most of the courses you see out there are probably 1,000, 1,500. I'm like, there's no point. Forex traders are already suffering. The industry is already suffering. Only brokers are making the money. It's time to take the money from the broker's hands back to the trader's hands. It's time for traders to start withdrawing their profits from the market. So that's when I decided that, listen, once I learned how to trade this market profitably, I was going to give back to this market. Now, the topic for today is how to make your first million dollars from the forex market. So I've broken it down into three segments, right? So the first segment, pardon me, I like to write a lot. You might not be able to see what I'm writing, but I'll explain to you guys shortly. So in order for you to actually achieve success in the forex market, for you to actually achieve, um, for you to be able to actually make that $1 million from the forex market, there are three things, three very key pillars that you need to consider. And you need to own up to these three pillars. The first one is your, is your education. Um, your education, do not worry. I'm going to be giving you guys some analysis. I'll be giving you guys some tips and stuff like that. So the first pillar, you, guys, if you have a notepad, I suggest you take notes. I am do, I've been trading for nine years, and I still, I still take, take notes down from the market. Like I still journal my trades. So nobody is above taking notes since you have my pen here. So the first thing you want, there are three pillars, the three pillars. The first one is your education, right? The second one is mindset. And the third one is an investor, right? Don't worry. For those of you that came for technical analysis, I'll give you some technical analysis. Don't be afraid. But I, it's very important. Like the essence of today is how to make your first $1 million from the Forex market, okay? So guys, um, this is... is we're going to go over this in this order, okay? So from education to your mindset to how to obviously get an investor, right? So guys, the first, the first pillar is your education, right? <clears throat> A lot of people come into this industry and they think that, um, should we do education first or mindset? Let's, let's, let's touch on education because that's why a lot of people are here, right? So... I understand that some of you guys have paid a considerable amount of money for education prior to now, and you haven't gotten value for what you paid for. Same as me. I didn't get a lot of value from the, the educational courses I paid for, but that doesn't mean I stopped paying for the courses because you have to understand that your Forex trading journey is like moving from point A to point Z, okay? So you pay for this course. It takes you from point A to point F. You, 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 feel that, you feel that void, okay? You pay for the next one. It takes you from point F to like maybe point K or point M. It fills that void. Maybe the first course you paid for gave you the basics. You understood the basics. And then the next one is teaching you about um, technical analysis. And then the next one is teaching if it's, it's like you will not even believe that some courses that I took that taught me rubbish, I'm happy I took those courses. You know why? Because it taught me what not to do. Okay? You have to understand that. How much have you spent on your trading journey? You haven't spent that much, but how much have you spent on your university education? For, for some of you guys who are schooling overseas, for some of you guys who are, who are schooling overseas, um, I schooled overseas. I went to Coventry University in the United Kingdom. That was where I did my university education. 
my one year school fees was the first year I went there was 10,800 pounds. The next year was about 12,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds and 12,000 pounds. So in total, my school fees was, if you include accommodation and feeding, my parents probably spent about 65,000 pounds on education. I don't know, most of you guys are Nigerians. If you multiply 65,000 pounds by the current exchange rate, which is 500 Naira, it, will bring, it brings you to about slightly above 25 million Naira. For university education that I went there, the only thing I learned in class was how to use Microsoft Word, ouch, right? I did not learn much. Most of you guys have spent, same for you guys, you guys spend a lot of money going to university and you haven't learned any, like you have learned something 32.5 million, you have learned something. However, what has that something done for you? That something has put you back at square one, you're typing CV is going to meet this uncle, going to meet that auntie, trying to get a job, trying to get all these things, you know? And then at the end of the day, depends on where you are. If you're overseas, you think you're lucky if you're overseas, you're not that lucky because you're earning 1,800 pounds. If you convert that to Nigerian Naira, it seems like a lot of money, but by the time they tax you, you pay for your rent. Would you believe but that by the time you get taxed, you pay for your rent, you pay for your phone bill, you pay for your car bill, you buy clothes, you eat. At the end of the month, you're probably left with a hundred pounds left. So the difference between people who are in Nigeria and people who are overseas is not that much. The only difference is people overseas have the basic amenities. Okay? That's the only difference, right? So if you're in Nigeria and you're and you've gone to school, you spend all this money and you're done and you're looking for a job and you finally get a job, you feel like you're earning a lot of money. That's absolutely true. You're earning horrible salaries. But people overseas are, doing, are earning the same thing as well if you do the whole mathematics and the whole calculation. So don't think that people overseas are a lot better off than you guys. You guys are all in the same rat race. You're running the same rat race. You spend a lot of money going to university, spending all this money going to school, getting this education, and then at the end of the day, you're still jobless or you still have a job that at the end of the day you cannot even save money you can't even pay for your parents you know you can't even send them anything you can't even take care of your parents you can't even have a nice time you end up you know for people overseas you have credit cards you end up running into debt and stuff like that so a lot of people are spending money on traditional education but people get discouraged when they barely spend a thousand dollars on the forex education that's crazy something that's going to potentially change your life, you're not willing to spend a lot of money on that education. It doesn't make any sense. Something that's going to retire you early, something that's going to enable you to work from home, you're not willing to spend a considerable amount of money. You need to get your priorities right, okay? I'm not trying to say, for, for, I'm not trying to say Forex trading is the best way to make money online, but as long as you're here, you're interested in Forex trading, there's nothing wrong with edu ed investing in your education. You see people who are at the top of their careers, right? Do you know how many professional courses they have to take? Do you know how many times they've tried and they've tried and they've tried? This industry is not for the weak. One million dollars is not small money. Do you know how many people in the world make a million dollars? They're not that many. And, then, and, and, and the reason that happens is for a reason. The reason why not a lot of people make a million dollars is for a reason because it's not for everybody. You have to be willing, you have to be like you have to know this is what I want and this is exactly what I'm going to get. Okay, so in terms of your Forex education, you have to be willing to, to really, really, you know, it's not everything you need to pay for. Like if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a lot of free resources. I like to give back as much as possible. So you need to put together this knowledge as much as possible and you need to keep learning. You need to keep learning. Now I'm going to, under the education segment, I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some tips. Um, and I'm going to quickly analyze the market really briefly so that you guys um, just, just, I just want to quickly give you guys um, some, some quick education and just quickly do an analysis before I go over to, before I go over to the next um, category on the, um, this topic. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Give me a sec. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, okay, so guys, give me a sec. I'm just reading the comments from YouTube, and people are saying, 
uh, you are clear, video not clear, very shaky. Hey boss, please, I need video, blah, 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 blah. All right, YouTube guys, um, I'm going to have to, sorry about that. You're going to have to watch the replay. All right, guys, so I'm going to take you over to my chart. Let's look at some technical analysis. Let me give you guys some educational stuff because that's exactly why you came, well, that's exactly why you're here in the first place. For those of you guys who've taken the program before, for those of you guys who are my students, you're, I'm not going to be saying anything that is totally abnormal. I'm just going to be quickly analyzing one pair that I'm currently looking at at the moment. I'm going to be giving you guys a forecast for what I think is going to happen and stuff like that. All right, guys. So let me quickly go ahead and share my screen. The pair that I'm looking at at the moment is um, the pair that I'm currently looking at the moment is AUD USD. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, I believe you guys should be able to see my screen from now. Okay, should be able to see my screen from now. All right, coolies, 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 coolies. All right, fantastic. So guys, um, <clears throat> after this analysis, do not run away because I know a lot of people came here just for the analysis. I just want to see, oh, this, I just want this guy to just tell me where to buy or where to sell. You're going to be doing yourself a great disadvantage if you do that. So you need to stay till the very end, okay? So the way that I trade is very simple and very straightforward. I see um, Emmanuel Owolabi here is a very fantastic student of mine. The chap is very young, came on my program, very dedicated. Um, he's still upcoming in the forex industry. Shout out to you, Emmanuel. I see you. At least that's one of the students I can see of mine that is here. Um, he's come on the program. He's learning every single day. He's trying to put the pieces together. And by the special grace of God, he will persevere and he will make a lot of money in the forex market. He's already showing me some very positive signs thus far. Now, when it comes to your forex chart, right, I want you guys to quickly um, take some notes down. Quickly take some notes down. The reason why I'm going over AUD USD is because AUD USD is the only chart that is showing me something promising. This is the chart that I can easily understand and interpret. Now, you have to understand something. There's no point going to look at a chart that is confusing to you. If it's confusing, get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out, mate. You don't need to look at it. Leave it alone. If it's confusing you, you leave it alone. AUD USD right now, it's very easy for me to, for me to analyze. So. I'm going to analyze something that is easy for me to understand, okay? I'm not going to go and act like, oh, I've been trading nine years. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the most professional. So give me uh, CHF JPY. I ain't going to touch CHF JPY. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because it's an ex exotic pair, okay? It does not follow the normal market principles, okay? There's a lot of market manipulation that goes on in there. So this is why I like to stick to the majors. AUD USD is a major. AUDUSD is a major, and I can see AUDUSD right now currently trending at the moment. So it's a lot easy for me to understand and explain and make it. Once it's easy for you to understand, the chances of you making a lot of money is always higher. So um, let me cut right to the chase. So from what I can see in front of me right about here, I have AUDUSD, right? So the first principle is, Emmanuel, you already know this. You must come on the monthly time frame. So a lot of people are very confused when it comes to time frame analysis, right? Oh, what time frame should I use? Oh, indicator. Oh, do oh. you know what some people tell me? They're like, my mentor told me, <laughs> my mentor told me go on 15 minutes and use two indicators. When it crosses, I buy. When it crosses up, I buy. When it crosses down, I sell. You're fooling yourself, okay? Absolutely fooling yourself. You need each, each time frame should be used for a specific reason. No one time frame is superior to the other time frame. Don't say, oh, I only trade one hour. Oh, oh, that's my best time frame. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's my best time frame. One hour time frame is my best time frame. Rubbish. If you want to learn how to understand price action properly, okay, first things first, you want to come on a monthly time frame. Now, what do I do on the monthly time frame? On the monthly time frame is where I... And not a lot of traders like to come on the monthly time frame because they feel that the monthly time frame is too slow. One whole candle is a whole month. Da, da, da. Oh shit. You must come on the monthly time frame to analyze the overall perspective of the market. You need to. Okay. The monthly time frame will the monthly time frame will give you the general perspective of the market. Okay. So on a monthly time frame, from what I can see, I 
on a monthly time frame, I always come and identify what is this market doing. On a monthly time frame, from what I can see, this market is doing one thing and one thing only. It's been doing this thing for the past maybe three years. Watch my previous videos, been on my previous webinars. My students already know this. This shit is heading downwards. It hasn't changed. It has not changed. Cool. So monthly time frame is telling me it's heading down. So what I do on the monthly time frame is I come on the monthly time frame to do what to analyze the flow of the river. What direction is this river flowing in? And from what I can see, this river is flowing south. Guys, we have officially have 90 people in the room. This is the highest we've had ever on our Forex webinar. Um, Sarah, good, good kudos to you. As you can see, um, our hard work is paying off. We post literally every day, two, three times a day, providing value to, to you guys. And it's so amazing to see that our community is growing. Sarah, as you can see, we've got 90 people in the room right about now. So this is absolutely fantastic. Shout out to every single one of you that's here today. Fantastic. Everybody watching this on YouTube, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. That shit needs to grow. I only have 1,250 subscribers on YouTube. Guys, the, the mission, the mission for my, all my social media platforms is 10K, 10K, 10K. This is the 10K year, 10K subscribers, 10K Facebook um, followers, 10K Instagram followers, right? So go ahead and I'll, I'll be showing you guys, I'll be showing you guys on my social media profiles. Tell your friends, let's get this community up to 10,000 people so that we can, you know, share information, whatever thing it is that I know I show to you guys, anything that you know that you feel is going to be of benefit to the community, bring it on board as well. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Cool. So... The monthly time frame is telling me it's sloping down south. This river is flowing south. That's the only thing I need to know. Monthly time frame is telling me that it's flowing south. Now, the next thing I come and do on a monthly time frame is, okay, I've identified that, okay, this market is heading down. The only thing that's going to be in my head is I'm only going to be looking for sell opportunities, but we don't look for um, tradable opportunities on higher time frames, okay? We don't look for trading opportunities on what higher time frames. Um, trading opportunities are going to be looked for on lower time frames, okay? Lower time frames is where our trading opportunities are going to be looked out for, but higher time frames is for what market analysis. My, um, um, Michael, not Michael, Emmanuel, you know, I always tell you this, higher time frames is for analysis, lower time frames is for what execution. So, Higher time frame has told me the market is heading lower. Now, um, if I look left, so I know that this market is heading lower. I'm going to look left. Where is this market most likely going to run into? How do I identify where this market is most likely going to run into? All I need to do is look left. I have that here. If we break here, where's going to be our next level target? Somewhere down here. Now, um, the next level target, and guys, you have to understand that these are 1,000 pips apart. So what I'm literally I'm about to do for you guys is I'm about to give you guys a prediction that is going to give you 1,000 tips into the future. So you set the trade, and you go and chill with your family. If you don't have a family, go chill with your girlfriend. Go and have fun. I believe in placing my trades, I'm going to do other stuff. I'm going to have a lot of fun, okay? Um, where did I stop now? I forgot to you know, say. Cool. So I've been able to identify the next level targets for this market, right? So um, this is currently at 0.4825. I'm going to adjust this to 0.500. Why? Because round numbers do risk. AUD USD respects round numbers. If you want to learn more about round numbers and how to obviously do this properly, um, we do have the Forex online, Forex Mastery online platform um, for 99 bucks. It teaches you guys how to do all this stuff, right? So. Um, I'm just going to quickly analyze this and put this up properly. Cool. Right. So this is what I use the monthly time frame to do. This market is heading lower. So from what I can see about here, if we stay, if we can sustain, I think that again, if we can stay below this green level about here, we're going to come down here. If we break here, we're coming down here. Between here to here is a thousand pips. And between here to here is, is another 1,000 pips. So if indeed we, we sustain below this level and we start coming down again here, so that's 1,000 pips. And if we break lower, that's another 1,000 pips. Now, if we break above this green level about here, 
ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be shooting all the way back to the upside. Very simple, very straightforward. So what I like to do, come on higher time frame, anticipate 1,050 into the future. I don't have time to be clicking one hour, 15 minutes. Was good. No, 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 no. I want to know if we break here and go higher, what are we going to do next? We're going to come here. If we sustain below this level, what are we going to do? We're going to come down here. If we break here, we're going to come down here, okay? Now, if we break higher, I would not exactly be interested in this market. Why? Because it's going to be going against the general flow of the river. The flow of the river is still pointing me down. So I will be looking forward to only sellable opportunities. Monthly time frame is telling me two things direction and key levels okay so if we sustain below here and we start coming down here i'll be interested I'm like yeah 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 because guys you have to understand when you trade against the flow of the market it's very choppy that's why you always notice the market is always going to be coming back for your stop loss the market will give you some profit oh my days i hope my airpods battery are not dying can you guys still hear me if you can hear me, type Y in the question box. If you can hear me, type Y in the question box. Let me uh, minimize this pretty quite quickly. If you can hear me, type Y in the question box so that I can be sure that you guys can hear me. Um, somebody says, how can I be your student? So Nana, we have the Forex Mastery. Um, I'm, after now, I'm not gonna be doing any more one-to-one -one sessions. Anybody who's interested in taking my course, feel free. The link is gonna be dropped down below. Uh, it's 99 bucks, it may be very affordable for everybody. <laughs> um, you guys, can you guys hear me? Um, can you hear me? Just type Y if you can hear me. Sarah, text me on my WhatsApp if you, you guys can hear me. Text me on my WhatsApp if you guys can hear me. Sarah, please text me on my WhatsApp just to make sure you guys can hear me. Uh, let's see, chat. Oh, yeah, okay. I was looking at the wrong chat. That's fine. Can hear you. Uh, fantastic. Sarah says we can hear you. All right, cool. So, I'm gonna go back. Somebody says your number. Um, Joshua says, Oh, Claire, all right, fantastic. Fantastic. Cool. You go ahead and expand this pretty nicely and clearly. All right, cool. So you know, anytime I, I, I notice from experience that every time I try and trade against the flow of the river, yes, I'm able to. I mean, if the market breaks here and starts coming up here, that doesn't mean you can't make profit. But the reason why I always advise people not to do that is because the flow is this way. It's like, it's like swimming against the current of a very strong um, the, the river, the, the current of the, the, the strong current of a river. That's what I'm trying to say, right? So it's like trying to swim against a river that is flowing very vigorously to the south. You're going to get very tired. You might almost die in the process, to be honest, because your, your blood pressure might kill you in this process. Because you're going to go up, come down, go up, come down, go up, come down, go up, blah, blah, blah. I don't really like that. So what I like to do, everybody has their own style, but I'm showing you what has worked for me over the years and what I encourage you guys to do moving forward, right? So... um back to what i was saying so not a problem if you want to trade against the market that's fine but my students know trade in the direction of the river flow with the river is easier it's less stressful you don't have to stress right okay guys um so that's exactly what i do on the monthly time frame first of all identify the flow of the river second thing i like to do um when it comes to um when it comes to monthly time frames i like to anticipate where is this market going to go next and I've highlighted them very nicely and very profitably. So the next thing I go ahead and do is I come on the weekly time frame. Now the weekly time frame is exactly where I come and plot my key levels. Okay, weekly time frame is exactly where I come and plot my key levels. Um, I don't rely on any indicators for this. Neither do you need to rely on any indicators for this. I'm going to go ahead and quickly plot the key level because we do not have enough time. You want to learn how to plot the key levels. Um, we have all of that on the online, the Forex Mastery platform. Feel free to check it out. It's just 99 bucks. Um, all my students already know how to do this, like absolute pros, okay? 
So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly plot my key levels. Okay. Give me a sec while I plot the key levels. And guys, they work like magic, trust me. Trust me that they, they should be working like magic. Okay, delete this. And I'll also explain to you guys why I haven't been trading AUD USD for a while, why I actually haven't traded in a while. Okay, I'll explain to you guys shortly. That all of that all falls under mindset, right? That all falls under mindset. Don't worry, this might not look very clean for now, but by the time I'm done, you would love the way my chart looks like. So our next level target once we break here is what 0.500, right? That's my long Voila. So we are done plotting our key levels, as you can see. It looks very nice, very clean, and very straightforward. Uh, I didn't need to stress that much. Um, somewhere in the middle here, I plot this level. For most of you guys who are used to plotting your levels, I don't use this to plot my levels. These are for amateur traders. Why? Because support and resistance is not a line, it's a dynamic area, very dynamic area. Um, as you can see, if I wanted to plot this level, if I had to use a line to plot this level, it wouldn't be able to accommodate the, the body and the weeks of the candle. It just wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I always like to use um, zones to map out my levels. And I, used to, I like to use this to map out levels that I feel play the significant role, but not that significant, right? So for those of you, my Nigerian followers, you know how you have your NEPA cables that run through your street. So these are your NEPA cables that run through your street. These ones, right? you know, they look like NEPA, they look like NEPA cables that run through your street. And then these ones are the, you know, the long national grid cables, the big ones that run interstate. Exactly. So that's the difference between both of them. One of them is for to connect, you know, so for, it's, for, it's for the city to run through the city. Maybe we might have missed out connecting some people with electricity with light. I have to give everybody lights, you understand? So this one, we're giving everybody lights with this one. Although some communities don't deserve to have lights. Why? Because, I mean, they just don't have lights. But these ones are the national grid. So which one do you pay more? Which one has more current and more voltage? Obviously, the ones on the national grid have more voltage. So you need to pay attention to these ones. These ones are very, very important, right? But these ones, obviously, on the Forex Mastery Platform program, I also show you guys where to put them and why I put them as well. I don't have time to start telling you guys all that right about now. Where are my students in the house? Where are all my students in the house? Where are all my students in the house? Let me shout out to my students real quickly. Uh, somebody's trying to say, are you trying to say our network cables are not reliable? Of course they're not reliable. You already know these guys. You already know this. They're definitely not reliable, right? Um, all my students in the house, let me just quickly say a big shout out to you guys. If you're my students, I've taught you how to trade before, just go ahead and just say hey, so that I can say a quick shout out to you guys. Um, I see Josh, shout out to you, Josh. Um, I see Emmanuel here, shout out to you. Um, fantastic, all my students, where are you guys? Samuel, what's up? What's up? Yes, Mr. Toro, all right, cool. So we have some new people who just bought the Forex Mastery program for 99 bucks. Um, shout out to you guys. I believe you guys are already getting some value from it. Don't lose your login details because every month I update it with a lot more information. Okay, so don't lose your login details. You want to check it at the end of every month. I always go on there to update it. Once you pay, once you, you've paid your 99 bucks, you've paid it for life. Okay, so once every month, I'm going to go ahead and update it as well. So and if you have your login details, you do not want to lose it, okay? Um, yeah, so the, Mr. Tony, what's up? Mr. Toro, all right. So I see all my students here. Um, please get back to the analysis. 
who's this guy? Mr. Malaki or Kafo is being so fucking rude. What the fuck do you mean by please get back to the analysis? Are you trying to say that you don't want me to speak to my students? That's very disrespectful. You're on here, I'm giving you free information, and you just cannot respect yourself. That will not be tolerated. I have a very good mind of blocking you from the rest of this training. Okay, that's not how you speak to people, but I'm just gonna let you on for a warning, okay? Where are all my students in the house? Say a quick hi. Well, I'm, I feel disrespected, okay? Um, where are all my students in the house, please? Can you guys say hi? Okay, hi, boss. Hi, all right, cool. Hi to you guys. Obviously, I always have the reason why I'm here is because of you guys. To keep, I promised you guys that I'll always update you guys on whatever is going on. Um, just um, keep, keep you guys informed and stuff like that. It's very important because I know the day to day struggles of a forex trader is absolutely horrible, right? Your mind playing games with you. You know, your parents not believing in you, people thinking, oh, this, this Forex thing has come again. So it's my duty to always keep encouraging you guys by educating you guys, you know, and always teaching you guys some new stuff. Any new thing that I know, teach you guys, keep reminding you guys that you guys are the absolute best and you need to keep pushing and you will come out on top, okay? All right, fantastic. So I'm going to get back to the analysis so that Mr. Maliki can, can stop being rude, all right? So on the weekly time frame, um, as you can see, I have set my, I've done my um, analysis, I've, I've plot my my levels very very nicely and very clearly. Everything looks pretty nicely done. I didn't need any indicators for this. Don't need any indicators for this. And uh, as you can see, um, I've plot them very nicely. So the weekly time frame were done. Monthly time frame analyze the overall flow of the river. Weekly time frame come and plot your key levels. Of support and resistance. Now we're going to go over to the daily time frame. We're going to go over to the daily time frame, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I use my daily time frame for. Now, before I get into the daily time frame, you guys have to understand that the way I trade is my trading is broken down into two segments, right? So there is the there is the market analysis, and there's the trade execution. Okay, market analysis I do it on higher time frame. So you must, first of all, analyze the market and be able to anticipate where this market is going to. And then you can now come on a lower time frame for your trade execution. You feel me? The problem, the mistake a lot of you guys are making is you're doing everything on lower time frames, unacceptable, okay? Higher time frame for your, shit, higher time frame for your market analysis, lower time frame for your trade execution, okay? So as you can see, monthly and weekly, I've showed you guys what we do on it. Um, and and uh, yeah, what was I gonna say? I absolutely forgot now. Monthly, weekly market analysis. Now on the daily time frame is exactly where you want to come and start looking for tradable opportunities. Okay. Now um, we have three different strategies that we use to enter the market. Um, I can't share all of them with you guys. Um, obviously, my students are going to be angry. Like, why did they pay all that money if I'm going to be sharing it for free? But I'm going to be giving you guys some um, trade calls. Do not worry about that. Now, on the daily time frame is where I come and look for tradable opportunities. I can't really share what I do too much on the daily time frame. But this is a trade that I have right in front of me for you guys. Okay? So, as you can see, AUDUSD, week, monthly time frame, remember, told me the market is heading south. So when I come on a daily time frame, I'll only be looking for selling opportunities, selling opportunities, okay? So with that in mind, um, I can see that the daily time frame has run up into this resistance level um, very nicely. It looks, this level is holding very strong. Our high tension is holding very strong. Um, as you can see, the market moves from one level to another level, jumps back up. So as you can see, my levels are working pretty nicely. I didn't need any indicator for this. If we break here, we're going to come here. If we break here, we're going to come here. If we sustain below here, we're going to come down here. So now this is the game plan. This is, this is the game plan. This, this should be your rules of engagement. As long as we sustain below this yellow, this, as long as we sustain below this blue level, 
Um, before I get into that, all my students, the reason why I haven't been trading lately is, is because of this. Remember when I taught you guys that if the daily time frame is not in sync with our overall trend, I would not be looking to execute the market. The, I remember when we, we caught sell about here, we caught almost 800 pips here. The reason why I sold this market about here was because um, obviously this, this, this market was in sync with the overall trend, okay? Let me explain that for you guys so you guys are not lost. <laughs> What do I mean by overall trend? Monthly is pointing down. The daily needs to be in sync with the monthly. My immediate trend must be in sync with my overall monthly trend. If it is going against the monthly trend, I am not interested in trading that this market. So as you can see, this market was in sync with the overall trend. We were pointing down. We used one of our strategies executed here for a very confident sell. And voila, we drop to the downside. If you're doubting me, check my previous YouTube video. If you're doubting me, ask my students. We call this here. A lot of them made a lot of money, including myself. However, I've not been unable to find a good trading opportunity for AUDUSD. Why? Because the market has been retracing against, this is an uptrend, against the overall uh, flow of the river. So I'm not going to trade it. However, what is now happening now is this, right? Um, guys, I don't know why I'm, the sun is dying out, so I'm becoming a bit darker, okay? So um, back to what I was saying. Now, the, the reason why we took this trade was because it was in sync with the overall flow of the river. The reason why we weren't able to take any trades here was because it was going against the overall flow of the river. However, we've come to a major point of resistance, and it looks like the market now wants to resume its flow of the river. It wants to resume its, its downtrend to now be in sync with the monthly time frame. Very simple. It's not, it's not mathematical at all. Monthly coming down. If daily is going up while monthly is coming down, no trades. <laughs> If daily is going down and monthly is going, if monthly is going down and daily is also coming down, then you want to come and look for sellable opportunities. There's no rocket science, okay? So prior to now, we saw daily, uh, monthly was pointing down, daily was pointing down. We had a trade, so we saw made over 800 pips. We now try to look for another trading opportunity. The monthly was pointing down, but daily was acting like it was retracing back to the upside. I said, I'm not interested. And as you can see, Look at when we were heading up against the flow of the river. Look at how choppy it is. Choppy it is. Choppy, choppy until we get up here. But look at when we were coming down, free flowing. Oof, swoosh. We made a lot of money from this one. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So we've come into this major resistance. Now the market now looks like it wants to start pointing downwards. Guys, don't sell at resistance levels. I keep telling you guys, okay? Um, I'm going to let you guys on a little secret on how we execute some of our trades. Now, um, I'm going to do something very simple and very straightforward right about here, okay? These are what we call rules of engagement. As a trader, as an investigative trader, you want to do what? Build your case for entry. As with every investigator, uh, you won't just see one or two clues. I'll be like, hey, I've solved the case. Before you know what's happening, you're arresting the wrong person. Same thing with Forex trading. You want to build your case for entry. Monthly, check. Weekly, resistance, check. Daily, in sync with the flow, check. Um, we bounce off resistance, check. Um, you know, all these things, you want to make sure that you check all these boxes before you get into the trade. This will save you from a lot of losses. This will save you from premature entry. Now, this is very simple and very straightforward. How am I going to execute this trade? And what am I looking out for? I'm going to be looking out for the market to do something like this. Okay, two things can happen here. This analysis is looking very sweet. However, it can still fail you. 90% this analysis will work out, but there's still 10% of uncertainty. And for somebody like me who trades a lot of money, I don't like to lose money in this shit, man. That's why I'm right nine out of 10 times. I'm very careful. So this market ideally is supposed to start heading lower. However, what if we come inside here? 
we test this minor support, test this trend line, and we start heading higher. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys want to write this down. If you want to take, make this AUD USD profitable for you, wait for this market to break this counter trend line and let it also break this minor level of support as well. Once these two areas have been taken out, guys, you have all this juiciness to the downside. Actually, this is actually a lot lower. This is this support level is at 0.600. Okay, so you have between 0.700 to 0.600 to trade. This is a 700 tip gap, guys. I don't mind. I'll wait a week for this market to get to get itself together. Let it have sense. Let it come to me, Mr. Darcy. I'm ready. Come and trade me. If he doesn't knock on my door, guy, go away. Leave me alone. Who wants to come and eat my money and run away? Not happening. You need to come, fulfill my criteria, come break this counter trend line, break this minor level of support. My traders know me. You know the rules of engagement. Come break out, retest. This is one of our various strategies and continuation to the downside. Look for pullback. Draw your counter trend lines as you already know. Now you can now come on a lower time frame. Then look for tradable opportunities that have taught you guys. If you need strategies, get the Forex Mastery program. Anyways, so look for tradable opportunities between here to here. Now you know that 95%, you have done your due diligence up to 95%. So done your due diligence up to 95%. This trade is most likely going to work out at least nine out of 10 times. <laughs> Give me a sec, guys. You've done your due diligence. Absolutely important. I'm not just going to hop into this trade just because everything is lining up, looking nice. For those of you guys, indicators, MACD, RSI, is crossing. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's go sell it. <laughs> and then your chest wants to explode. And those of you guys who don't even understand how to use risk management, if you want to learn proper risk management strategies, ask my students or get the Forex Mastery program. There's a, there's a pin calculator on there. There's a spreadsheet to help you calculate your stop loss and stuff like that. Guys, there's no reason why in this 21st century and why anybody should be losing money in this Forex market, okay? I know there are a lot of people that teach you guys for oh, this RSI crossover, Bollinger Bands, this, that, that. Oh, shit. I've used everything. I've used all the, I have on my HP, my students will tell you this, I have a HP that I was using when I was learning how to trade while I was a university student. I have 760 indicators. If you guys want, I'll give you them to you guys for free. But guess what? They don't work. I've downloaded the one that you're using right now and the one that you're going to download in the future. The one that, you're going, the one that you've paid for that they're going to send to you next week. I have it. It's not going to work. <laughs> Should I tell you what works? This systematic approach. Because you're trading the market for what it is, okay? A systematic approach to the market will always win. It will always win. <clears throat> oh my God, my chest. It will always win, okay? So let me quickly see how many people are in the room. We've got 88 people in the room. So guys, you know, this is exactly, I'm just giving you guys a free trade about here. Don't sell in the resistance region. And guys, look, you have 700 pips to the downside. 700 pips. You just need to be a little bit patient. Let the market coil up, calm down, break all those levels. You have 700 pips to yourself. Just set it and go and chill, relax. And the good part about it is, remember, the monthly also give us some more predictions into the future. So guess what, guys? When we break here, we also have some more pips to the downside. Some more money to be made. If you are patient enough, you will not just make only 700 pips, you will make 1,700 pips. Now, this is if the market continues its flow. However, however, if we break this blue region about here and the market starts pointing upwards like so, okay? 
then this our setup is null and void. Don't be afraid. It's not the end of the world. We'll always have tradable opportunities. I would rather the market go his merry way than to take my 3%. I will be very mad. We want to make a million dollars in Forex. This is the education you need to have. This and many more, okay? So if you want to not respect my levels, Mr. Market, please be going. If we come here, then we can now look for potential buy opportunities. Obviously, your next level target will be this black region here. If we break this black region, we're coming up here. However, if that happens, I might not even trade it, but if, I'm, if I must trade it, I'll be reducing my risk from 3% to 1% because why? We're going against the flow of the river. There will always be tradable opportunities. It's not the end of the world. If the market wants to go up, fine, but it needs to clear this level and come up here. Then you can now start looking for buy opportunities, okay? But I'm favoring the south. I'm favoring the downside. If we break here, we break here properly, come down here, I see a pullback on like a four hour or one hour time frame. Um, use our, um, my students go ahead and use our lower time frame strategy. You already know how to do this. Look for very nice potential opportunities. Use 50 pips to bank 700 pips. That's like a 12 to one, right? Yeah, there about, no, 14 to one. 700 divided by, 70 divided by five, that's 14, right? Man, that's, a, that's, that's a 14 to one, right? Risk to reward, a lot of money. Risk 3% to make as much as 50% on your account. You just need to be patient. And then once we get here, this is going to be my first level target. Once we come here, I'll be taking my 50% of my position. Once we come here, I'll take out another 25 and then I'll leave the rest to run. So this is exactly how it doesn't, if you learn how to do this thing properly, it will not take you more than five minutes. Bam, 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 bam. You've done your analysis. All these levels I've drawn on here, they will last me months to come. I only check my charts maybe three times a week. I have other things I need to do. And I make more money than day traders. A day trader can never... Where does he want to see 700 pips from? Okay? A day trader, where does he want to see 700 pips from? Right? A day trader cannot show you 700 pips. He's not built to show you 700 pips. Only people that understand the flow of the river will tell you, guy, relax, chill. When this happens, Position yourself, taking 700 pips, and you relax, okay? Okay, so I hope I've been able to educate you guys. Um, if you guys are enjoying this, go ahead, send me a message. Tell me right now, should I continue or should I stop? I need to see God is my favorite. Do you mind looking at it? Uh, so we have some questions here. Give me a sec. Let me quickly answer this question. It's hanging. Please, I can't hear, I can't hear what you're saying. Can you guys hear what I'm saying? You guys should be able to hear what I'm saying, man. I can, I can see the volume bar. Can you guys hear what I'm saying? Can you hear what I'm saying? Loud and clearly. Okay, let me quickly answer some questions. How long will it take to make a million dollars? I'm getting to that. Relax. You need the education first. All of you just want to make the money. Relax. Calm down. I'll get to that. How to realistically go, realistically go about making a million? I'll get to that. Yes. All right. Cool. So the class is very educated. All right. Fantastic. Um, so give me a second. Let me try and answer some of this question. That smile on your face. Sarah, can you do me a favor? Can you also try and get the questions on the YouTube channel as well so that I can also answer them here as well, please? Just find out the question. God bless you, Mr. Dad. I've been banking profits since the last webinar I attended. Fantastic. See, guys, I attended my webinar. They're making money, okay? Very impressive. All right, fantastic. You are only making reference to the monthly and daily. What happened to the weekly levels? You plotted. I plotted them, but I don't have the time to explain to you guys how I plotted them. If you want to learn how to plot them and you're serious about your FX trading, you need to get the Forex Mastery program. I'm sorry. Can't help you. Hello, Dapo. Do you mind dropping your WhatsApp number? Imagine if I drop my WhatsApp number for 90 people. That means I won't be able to sleep at night. <laughs> I won't be able to sleep at night. If everybody's messaging me night, there are like 87 people on the call. Come on, guys. That is where you plotted this zone. Just look for opportunities. 
Yep. Cool. Thank you, sir. All right, fantastic. Can this strategy work with a small account about $200? Of course, it will work with any account size. Like, it's not a strategy. This, I'm not giving you, free your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind of strategy. Strategies don't work. Analyze the market. There's market anal analysis and there's trade execution. Analyze the market first. Then you can use whatever strategy you want to use to execute. But if you don't, if you cannot identify where the, it's like somebody that is driving with with and without Google Maps. If I'm driving with Google Maps. I'll get to my destination faster. I'll get there before you faster and before you. Same thing. Anyways, I will spend less time. Same thing. Faster. Okay. So can you work with a small account? Of course. How can I register with you as a newbie to Forex? Join the Forex Mastery Program. Sarah, please go ahead and paste them a link to the checkout page to the Forex Mastery Program. It's 99 bucks, $99 you can pay for it right away. Um, please, how can someone, why do people condemn binary trading as the same as gambling? Because, I was, okay, let me see, oh, guys, too many, see, please, one at a time. I beg you guys, one at a time. I'll answer you guys questions, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Binary options is considered as gambling because, for instance, look at what I just told you guys. When you, that's your 700 pip trade that you're going to eventually take, okay? Think about it. It's going to take you weeks. It's going to take the market weeks for it to get there. Imagine if you get into that trade and for the first two days, you're in negative. You're in negative. Your stop loss is minus 50 pips and let's say you're negative or minus nine pips. Because binary options... Yes, I do mentorship with my students. Because binary options is limited by time. You have a specific amount of time for your trade to play out. If, let's say, you place that trade and you do maybe one hour, for instance, if you, the market is still within your negative, by the time the trade duration elapses, it will close you out for a loss. So that is why statistically, the brokers will always make more money because statistically, it is impossible for you to trade profitably when your trade is being timed because there's sometimes you can get into it especially during ranging periods you get into a trade you're expecting it to to move and it just stays and guess what, guess what happens it's timed and then the broker closes you out for a loss why because it is timed forex doesn't have any time i've been holding gold since september last year 4,800 pips is what we bank on gold. 4,800. Think I'm lying? Check my previous videos. Everything is there on YouTube. You can check my YouTube. Okay? Or ask my students. They'll tell you. Done the analysis. When I did it 5K into the future. Overall target for gold, $1,800 per ounce. If we break that, $2,200 per ounce. And from the, way, from the way things are going at the moment, from the way things are going at the moment with gold, um, because the way gold works is whenever people panic in the global economy, they move their investments from dollar-based investments to gold bullions. Gold is known as the safe haven asset. So obviously because of this whole COVID-19, the American economy is suffering. Most people are gonna move their money into gold. You, um, yeah. So Sarah just posted the Forex Mastery order page. If you are bold enough, if you know you really want to learn this stuff, check out 99 bucks. Um, all right, cool. So I agree with you. Um, do you do mentorship for your students? Yes, I do. Uh, my students are already here. I'm sure you've already seen some of them. This is just the liberation I need. Thank you, sir. Trust me when. I do all this and I say, I always make good money, but I build myself around you. Indicators will kill you guys. Indicators will kill you. Trust me. I've been doing this nine years. Indicators will kill you. Okay? Indicators will kill you. So let me just take one more question before I go back to my next point. Uh, so what do you mean about YMS indicators? I don't care about it. See, YMS, EMS, EHS, EAS, GFY, DAP, DAPO. My name, DAPO, DAPO, OPADO, and indicators. Oh shit. That shit don't work, man. I'm sorry. RSI, 
I mean, you can use your RSI to find out where it's overboard or oversold. But even RSI, have you noticed that RSI, RSI, they repaint now. Uh-uh. This is how you can see the thing can be over oversold. You will just be at the bottom, minus 20%. And then you go and buy because it's over, oversold. And then when you buy because it's oversold, the thing will go up. And then market falls. The thing will just do like we never told you it was oversold. I know, I know all of them. Um, but from your analysis, um, the monthly time frame is showing bullish, which is quite confusing when you said it's moving downward. My the monthly time frame is not showing bullish. If you if you started from from the beginning, oh my God, let me show this guy again. So it gives me a headache. Okay, let's do this. Mr. Terry says, but from my listing, which monthly time frame is showing bullish. Let me let me help you clear some doubts. If you clear some doubts. All right, cool. So monthly time frame is not bullish. Don't you see these steps? This thing is coming down. Step, 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 step down, step down, step down, step down. Wants to continue stepping down, stepping down. Oh, it's bullish here. Okay. It's not bullish here now. It's not bullish, it's down, look, it's going down. It's going down, it's coming down, going down, going down, okay? Going down. That smile on your face. Let me stop sharing the screen. Let's answer some more questions. Um, All right, cool. So I think I'm done with my analysis. Let me go over to the next aspect of things, which is the mindset, okay? Which is very important. Mindset, I think he said is bullish based on the current candle. Okay, no, 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 not based on the current candle. Not that, that's not it, that's not it. Can we look for trading opportunities on daily time frame and still execute on 15 minutes? That's exactly what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Yes, 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 you can, Virginia. Yes, you can. Fundamental noise. Fundamentals don't work. Noise. I used to trade the non-farm payroll before. Never made any money trading non-farm payroll. No NFP, those things don't work. Um, let me see, let me see. Give me a sec. So some people have indicated that they want to come on the Forex Mastery program. Let's give them some time. The link to checking out is right there. Um, let me go ahead and to all panelists. Yeah. Just scroll up if you can. I think Sarah has posted it. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's go back to the next point, which is mindset. Okay, so we've covered education. What is your take on buying bonds by the US government? I don't I don't have any take on US government buying bonds. US government buying bonds or on bond buying by the I have no take on it. Right, sorry, my earpods just died off. Let me quickly change it up. Sorry, guys, just to make sure you guys can hear me. Switch over to airport. Can you guys hear me? Um, Mr. Ostazi, I'm not saying that it doesn't affect the FX market, but what I'm trying to tell you here is I have given you 700 pips into the future, 1,700 pips into the future. If the bond, if the US, if the US buying bonds is going to affect the FX market, it will affect it short term, maximum a week. Coronavirus affected the market for maximum a week before we knew what was happening. You see, fundamentals are distractions. Everything is priced into the market. Have you not noticed that when non-farm payroll comes out and the market goes against the trend? Check it again next week. It goes back. If the market is trending, 
upwards. And then the non-farm payrolls come out bad. And then the market slashes down. Check the market within the next one week. You will notice that it corrects back into the trend. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys here. Once you identify the flow of the river, where the market is going to, I've enrolled to the Forex Massive. How do I access the Telegram group? Um, Mr. Kingsley, not a problem. We'll send you an email. Sarah, send an email to Mr. Kingsley with the link to the, Forex, um, to the Telegram group. Please. Okay, so that's the exact. So once you identify the flow of the river, but I heard the fundamental is what moves the market. Guys, question. Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, let me answer your questions before I get into this. Thing. Okay. So fundamentals are the catalyst. You see a trend. If the fundamental news comes out against the trend, it will temporarily go against the trend. However, the following week, usually what happens is the market tends to correct in its original direction. Okay? The market needs to be correct. The, the market will correct back in its original direction. Um, so that that's just the way it goes. Like you don't like don't worry yourself too much about fundamentals and reading the news. Focus on your market analysis. That's what is going to really liberate you in this market. Okay. Focus on which time frame is ideal for price action analysis. I just explained to you. Do your monthly. Do your weekly. Do your daily. I told you what you do on the monthly. I told you what you do on the weekly. I told you what you do on the daily. Combine this information together. It's very simple and very straightforward. And there you have it. Okay? Yes, the Telegram link, please. Guys, the Telegram is not going to help you. What is going to help you is the Forex Mastery Program. There's nothing. The Telegram group is just where we speak about. And guys, stop running into people's WhatsApp groups and stuff like that. Groups are not going to save your trading. Oh, my God. You need to learn how to do this stuff properly. Fundamental doesn't give entry and exit point. Exactly. Fundamental is just noise. Like now, I just gave you some, some, some clear and defined entry points. You can do your fundamental analysis from now. Guys, I've seen a country have good fundamental numbers, but the, the currency was still trending downward. At the time of this trade, AUD, at the, at the time of this trade, AUD, what if this, there is volatility in the market? Does this affect the trade? Because of the time frames that I trade on, I'm immune to volatility. That's why 15 minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, you see a lot of spikes. But if you come and execute on a four hour, for instance, a lot, once the spikes happen, they happen and they go, you execute your trade, you're immune to all of this because if you see a spike happen on a one hour, go and check on the daily time frame. They, they, you, will not even, you will not even know that a spike even occurred on a, on, on, on a daily time, on, on a one hour time frame, okay? So the higher the time frame you trade, the better for you. Um, so do your analysis on a higher time frame and then scroll to a lower time frame to what executes your trade. Guys, I've taken enough questions for now. The next thing I want to go over quickly is mindset, okay? Mindset. Now, what is the mindset of a millionaire trader, okay? A trader who wants to make his first million dollars in the forex market, okay? What is the mindset of a millionaire trader? Now, first things first, like I just said earlier, you need to get yourself some education. Secondly, secondly, you cannot get rich off of your own capital. That's just the truth. You can't get rich off of your own capital. Okay? That's just, that's just the sad truth. If you have a $1,000, my best bet for you guys, actually, that's the third point, right? My best bet for you guys is grow your account. Try as much as possible to grow your account. If it's 60, 70, 80%, connect your account to a, a portfolio tracking platform. Once you do that, export your equity cards and give it to an investor who's going to invest in you. Okay? Another thing I also want to speak about is you guys need to be seized and desist from, give me a sec, guys. Another thing I want to tell you guys is, um, obviously indicators don't work, signals don't work. You keep doing your indicators, doing your signals, you're going to end up being frustrated by the forex market. That's the truth. 
you will almost never make it in this industry. Okay. And another question that I usually get is another question that I usually get is um, obviously, Sarah, please give them the Telegram group because people want the Telegram. Give it to them. Um, another question that I usually get is how much can I make? How how much can I make from how much can I make from forest in a month? Forest is not a monthly hustle. Forest is not a monthly hustle. That's the truth. Say I want to make 500 pieces this month. No. Why? Because you can't guarantee anything in this market. When you say I want to make 500 pieces this month, is the month you will make minus 300 pieces. What the market gives you, please take. Learn to be content. This is not a nine to five hustle. It is an investment vehicle. For those of you guys out there that are promising people returns, this is the quickest way to get into trouble. I've been there. I know. You promise I can do this every month. How much can I possibly make every month? The problem is that a lot of people are programmed to that monthly mentality. I want to make this every month. No. What the market gives you is take after the quarter is over, then you review. You can make a hundred percent in a quarter. Your first month, you can probably make eight percent, next month, 12 percent, the next month, 65 percent. But those first months that you didn't make so much, if you are so hell bent on making that money in that market, you would have blown your account. Because why? The market is only trailing 60% of the time. Sorry, 40% of the time. It's ranging the remaining 60%. No, no, no. The market is trailing 60% of the time. And it's ranging 40% of the time. So what happens when the market is ranging? But you said, you promise your investor, I will give you your money at the end of the month. 10%, 15%. And then, bam, you get into a ranging market. And then the market is tight. And then you're trying, is this, that, that. Or the market is going against the flow of the river. Is retracing. What do you then do? Please, please, whatever the market gives you, please, you take. Take whatever the market gives you, okay? Now, the last but not the least point on my list, the last but not the least point on my list is an investor. Once you've been able to sort out your education, okay, you're, you're properly educated, You've gotten your education, obviously, by, by take, finishing your program on the Forex Mastery program. You understand that, okay, um, I'm not expected to make X amount of money every month. You have all these things in check. You've tested your strategy. Your strategy is proven. The next thing you can go ahead and do is you trade on your small account, $100, $200, $500. You try and take your two hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. You that two hundred dollars is gone. The broker is going to. This is why only three percent of forex traders are successful. You try and you want to take that two hundred dollars to. Um, you try and say you want to guys hold on one sec, one you know, sec. Yeah, so obviously power just came on, so I had to put the lights on. So you try and say you want to take, now this is a heart to heart conversation that I always like to have with everybody that comes across me in the trading and stuff like that. You try and take that $200 to $2,000, you will kill, you will give you, that's the money away to you, to the broker. This is why it's very, and I can see some people leaving the meeting because they don't want to hear the truth. But those of you who are here till the very end, you guys, you guys actually want to make money from the forex market. And you will. But this is how it needs to go. First step, your education. Second step, you need to get your mindset right. And the third step, you get an investor because you cannot trade your way to a million dollars. You can't. So once you've been able to, let's say you have a thousand dollars, you're taking one thousand dollars to two thousand dollars. Okay? You're taking one thousand dollars to two thousand dollars. You show this to an investor. Investors start investing in you. And that's exactly how you can now grow your fund to a million dollar fund. You cannot do it by yourself.
okay? Someone said, is the real account, is the real account the same as demo because I'm doing training in the demo to prepare myself for the demo and real are two different things because the real account, obviously your emotions are in play. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So guys, you know, you need to understand that you cannot get rich off of your own capital. That's the truth, okay? So, you know, quit this whole mentality. This is how to get your education sorted out. The most important thing, and don't worry, don't be scared about investors. Invest, investors are everywhere. Everywhere you look, they're investors. Once people know you know how to make money on money, they will throw money on you. Can you get rich through scalping? Who is this person now? I'm asking me this question. I just explained to you that scalping is not good for your trading. Just told you, lower time frame trading is not good. Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles, you cannot get rich off of scalping. I know all the events you've gone for, all the brokers events you've gone for, they told you this, that, this time frame, they told you all that rubbish. I'm here to tell you, it does not work. What works is, I just showed you guys how to analyze the market, how to predict 1,000 pips into the future. You do that. You will make more money than people who are scalping. How much do you think scalpers make at the end of the month? Maybe plus 150 pips, 200. Because they make 100 today, lose 70 tomorrow, make, make 50 today. It's, it, it, it's crazy. Set the trade and go and relax. That way, everybody's okay. Your investors are cool. You're cool. You're making money. You're confident. At least now you can go to bed knowing that Hope you explain more on how the forex brokers cheat forex traders on the forex mastery course. Yes, I did explain that. To be honest, forex brokers don't really cheat brokers as much. Um, brokers don't really cheat forex traders. Cheat forex traders cheat themselves. You guys need to listen to what I'm saying, okay? Right? So you need to understand, like, you don't need to... I forgot what I was saying. Somebody remind me what I was saying. You guys, these comments are stressing me out, man. I keep getting distracted. My last question. So which time frame should you execute analysis? All the questions you all the questions you want to be answered is on the Forex Mastery platform. Not answering any of these questions. Any question that is answered on the Forex Mastery platform, I'm not gonna answer it here. How do you strike deals with investors? Forex Mastery platform talks about that. Um so investors are everywhere. Once people know that you know how to make money on money, they will throw money. People that you, pe people that you never even knew had $10,000. Once you tell them that I was able to take this $1,000 to $2,000, they're like, really? They start asking like, what, what if I give you something like $5,000? Can you take it? With, what can you do with it? Okay, investors are everywhere. But the most important thing is the first two steps, your education. If you're not educated on how to trade the market, you will never ever ever be successful educated and mindset okay investors will come i promise all my students go trade the market once they are done they're able to prove to me that they've been able to grow their accounts with everything that i've taught them with the discipline from the forex market platform i will look for investors guys we have my phone I, because of investors i have to get two phones literally because of investors, I have to get two phones because not my existing investors, the people that want to invest in my trading because please, sir, can you recommend trading psychology movies a forex trader can watch? Um, I don't really know any forex psychology movies. Okay, on the Forex Mastery platform, we're about to upload a new module called Trader Psychology and Market Psychology that teaches you how to come back from losses. Okay? Yeah, so... I think the Forex Mastery platform does that. There's no movie. I don't know any movie. Guys, you have to understand emotions. We cover it on the Trader Psychology uh, module on the Forex Mastery. It's literally going up end of this month. So you want to grab that as well. How do we overcome emotions? Trader Psychology module covers that. Um, how can I be your student? I just showed, They just give you a checkout link to the Forex Mastery. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? I know I'm speaking a lot about the Forex Mastery. That's because 
I made it so cheap for you guys. And if you're not a serious person, that's just it. If you're not serious about trading, you're not going to upload. If you're serious about it, you're going to up on it. Okay? I can't start answering all the questions now. I'm going to try my very possible best to answer. But how do we overcome our emotions? Okay, guys, one last thing. I want you guys to all go on my Instagram page. My Instagram page is Willis one Let me go ahead and share my Instagram page. I want you, every single one of you to go ahead and follow my Instagram page. My Instagram page is literally going to help you guys because I post a lot of flashy stuff on there. Like when I'm traveling on a private jet and driving nice cars and all that kind of stuff. All this stuff that's going to make you want to trade for it more, okay? So let's, let me just open my Instagram page. Just follow Dapo Willis one is my Instagram page. So yeah, you guys can obviously follow that page as well. That smile on your face. Following already, following already. Not now. My old, for those of you who are following my old Instagram page, uh, me and Instagram had a little beef. So they decided to take down my Instagram page. But that's all right. I got it back now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my Instagram page with you guys. Um, go ahead and um, follow me on Instagram. I always post a lot of like cool stuff on there. And sometimes I do giveaways whereby I can give maybe top five people who answer a question, um, obviously free access to the Forex Mastery course and stuff like that. So you guys, this is it. This is my Instagram page, Dapu Willis one. You guys go ahead and follow the page right about now. Guys, I'm going to be rounding up this. Um, I'm going to be rounding up this, as you can see. This is me traveling on a private jet here. Always liking to do really cool stuff. Going to watch football match, traveling to Barcelona on a private jet. Um, so yeah, I always put all this really nice cool stuff. You know, I can see people on the private jet and stuff like that. So guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do we have any more questions? Okay, let me try. Let me be nice. Let me try and answer some more questions. Okay, I'll stop chasing you guys to the first. The thing is, I'm trying to get you guys to go on the Forex Master platform because it answers all the questions. I need your response, please. Please, which currency pair are trending currently so we can focus on? So the currency pairs that are trending, I just showed you, is AUD USD. AUD, AUD USD is trending at the moment. The euro is not trending. GBP USD is not trending. AUD USD is trading very well and gold. So AUD USD and gold are trading very well. So please, can you do another analysis and another currency pair? Um, I would love to do that, but I don't have enough time to do that. Uh, maybe you can come from my subsequent webinars and then obviously you can see um, me do some more analysis and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Before I share. Which broker am I using? The broker, the current broker that I'm using at the moment is a broker called um, TO Markets. TO Markets is very good. Okay. TO Markets is very, very good. Uh, how do I make this big? Sorry, guys. I think I messed up my meeting. I can't even find. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Let's see more questions. Okay, these are the old questions. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to look for the question section so that I can answer you guys. 32. WhatsApp number. I can't give you my WhatsApp number. I'm sorry. Um, I can't give you my WhatsApp number. I'm sorry. But you can join the Telegram group. I thought the class would start by 6. Only Q and A could I get a replay, please. Yes, the replay is going to be on my YouTube channel. WhatsApp number, please. Is it true that major pairs respect market rules more than... Yes, Malachi, now you're my friend again. That's a very intelligent question. Yes, because you have to understand that the major pairs are traded by a lot more people. So for the fact that a lot more people trade the major pairs, um, they look out for the same things that you're looking out for as well. So any pair that has USD attached to it is a lot easier to trade and is usually always the best to trade, okay? Is how can we connect with Trading View and trade from there? You can't connect to trade. You can't trade from Trading View. Uh, Uchenna Eric, I know that name. 
I think you're supposed to be on the Forex Mastery program. We sent you an email, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. I'm just gonna search up your name right about now. Yeah. Mr. Uchina, Eric, I remember you. Never replied our emails, but that's fine. That's cool. Welcome to my free training. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So guys, at this point, I'm gonna have to leave you guys. Um, like I said earlier, all the questions you have, if indeed you want to, um, okay, let me go ahead and show you guys what the Forex Mastery platform looks like. For those of you guys who do not know, uh, let me go ahead and open it. So this will be the last thing I'm gonna do before I have to go. Give me a sec. All right, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post the link. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and post the link below. Um, for those of you guys who um, I'm going to post in what the Forex Mastery looks like in the Telegram group. So yeah, guys, I hope I've been able to add value to you guys today. Um, who else is asking? Which broker is the best to trade? Thanks a lot for the class. More strength mentor. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. At this junction, I'm going to have to leave you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys. Um, watch out for my subsequent events as well. I'm going to be obviously providing you guys a lot more value um, and stuff like that. All right, guys, take it easy and stay blessed. Cheers and bye. I said bye. The video is still on. <laughs> Let me go ahead and end the meeting. Oh, my day, Sarah. I forgot how to end the meeting. All right, guys, you're welcome. Um, thanks, Ferro Pace. Thanks for coming. Simile, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.